The glorious leader never leaves his office unless something happens to his statue, and what is he doing right now? Oh, he's peeking on the female change room. What's up guys, and welcome to Death Coming. So this is a game that instantly reminded me of Final Destination, if you remember those movies. Like, the idea being, once your time is up, you can't escape death. And at some point, some kind of highly unlikely sequence of events is gonna end up getting you. Except in this case, instead of being a bunch of teenagers who are dying, you get to play as death itself. Which seems like the way better end of the deal. So the game is actually being published by Zodiac Interactive, who are the same people that I worked with on Candleman. So I reached out to them and they were kind enough to sponsor today's video. All they wanted me to do was let you guys know that the game is coming out on PS4 and Switch eventually. Right now it's out on Steam. I'll leave a link in the description where it's like half off right now. And they gave me three copies of the game to give away for free to you guys. So if you want a chance to win the game, then be sure to stay tuned to find out how. To be or not to be? Ah, uh, the question that every snake must ask when eating its own ass. Did I just get hit by a car? I'm pretty sure that's me, right? I don't think I made it. What's going on? That's what I was asking. Where am I? I, I just said that we weren't going to be the stupid teenagers who die. Somebody ran me over on my front lawn! I'm not even in the road. Am I dead? I don't think that's jam pouring out of your face, dude. Who is she? Why is she crying? I left a hot little bean girlfriend behind. Greetings. I mean, uh, <clears throat> I am the Reaper. You are dead indeed. Look at my fancy tie. But if you choose to... You may rise again as my assistant. Doesn't look like I- I mean, doesn't look like I have a choice. <laughs> Take my sight. Fine. Now we shall harvest souls. Here goes nothing. Oh, I got my own little, little shawl. That's not a shawl. Act Zero, Crash Course on Death. I'm pretty sure I already had my Crash Course on Death. I just abruptly died, you know, learn from experience. Hey, Grim, did you just throw a fistful of sparkles on me? <laughs> Glitter. It's worse than death itself. I'll make this brief, Junior. I'm not doing the voice this entire time. We have power over the so-called death traps, precarious objects infused with reaper power. We give them a gentle nudge to move some souls along, if you catch my drift. Make us proud. So it's like I said, it's just kind of finding ways to make it so a highly unlikely sequence of events ends up killing somebody. Something like uh, a flower pot falling from a roof. But don't get ahead of yourself. Reaping is an art. Click it again at the right moment to create an accident. If you don't know what to do, grab a hint. Try to trigger all the death traps. Okay. So we have some kind of robber down there. We don't mind smushing his skull. <laughs> Even though the game is very cartoony and charismatic, you still end up smushing people. Which is great, uh, can't control humans, you know, free will and all. Yeah, that's totally something normal to say out loud to yourself while walking down the street. Uh, I think you might want an air conditioner, an AC unit hanging from a thread. Whoops. Are you proud of me yet? <laughs> this is your first time, right? You know what? I'm gonna leave you to it. Though, in particular, I'm gonna need the three high-value souls over there. Good luck, though it seems you won't need it. Practically a pro already. Uh, I have a bad feeling about this. Well, you know what? Now you have no feeling at all. So, one down. And I'm guessing I just need to wait? Life is so fragile. Well, so is your skull. Oh, 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 I missed one. Lady, could you come back over here, please? There we go. Need to have a little patience as a reaper, right? Well done, you monster. Remember to check hints if you're ever lost, though it seems like you're a murdering natural. Not my first time. 
Who's that? You looking for a low five or something? Check the hints when you're stuck. Onwards. Yeah, I got it. There are hints. You said that like three times already. <laughs> so where are we? Oh my god, there's a lot more of this. Like, I've seen this game played a little bit because other YouTubers have played it, but I don't remember there being like a ton of levels. But there's a whole like overworld map. Okay, so we're gonna go to Act 1. Life is like a game. You are just an NPC. Just another day here in NPC, Bill. I was gonna make some kind of death joke, but that's not us, right? Yeah, I'm I'm not an alien. I'm the Grim Reaper's assistant. Long live the invasion! Am I supposed to be reaping aliens? What do you got for me? Let's go to town. Your job is to hasten the demise of those who've overstayed their welcome on Earth. You'll use the Reaper's eye to find your targets. Try not to make a mess. Really? Wait, you didn't say anything about making a mess before. So can I not smoosh people? That's like half the fun. I'm gonna make like a, a little mess. Maybe he won't notice. So we need to find the three high value targets, which would be what? These guys over here? You're bound by fate to these marked targets. If you wish to live again, you'll need to murder them all. You didn't say anything about me living again. You just said that I need to kill people and I agreed. <laughs> He's sweetening the deal as we go on. Okay, I like what you're saying. Uh, though, remember, they're just a drop in the bucket. We have quotas to meet. Okay, so I don't want to just kill them. I need to kill... 32 people for a bronze, 47 for a silver, or 58 for gold. There we go. Okay, so I've got my mouse cursor on. You guys can see where I'm pointing now. So this is the dude that we're after, Peter. Peter likes it cool. All right, Peter. So what if we close your parasol, which is currently keeping it all cool? It's so hot, I'm going to take a quick dip. Oh, I see. Maybe a quick dip with all this electricity. <laughs> There we go! I killed like four people to get to Peter! I'll never get to go tanning again! I'm- I'm sorry, ladies. You, you shouldn't have gotten too close to Peter! I love that one other person is like, okay, did they clear the charred corpses out of the pool yet? Because I gotta get my dip in. So that's one high value target down. Why don't we move on to green haired lady? What's your story, Mrs. Zoo? Mrs. Zoo is too old-fashioned to buy a mobile phone. So, what, am I gonna murder her with high home phone bills? There's a phone right here. Phone booth, you will die in seven days. Hey honey, could you please answer the phone? So, oh, there's a timer here as well. So she doesn't own a mobile phone and she's too lazy to answer a phone on the street but instead wants to send her husband. Interesting. Um, we have a manhole cover here. Manhole cover, city ordinance, all sewers near phone, what? All sewers near phone boots must be covered. Okay, so if we can get her to run to the phone, she can fall in. Uh, we also have a uh, Poochie. Doghouse, Max honestly deserves better, so we might also be able to get her to be mauled by the dog, because I'm pretty sure there are dozens of different ways that you can kill people. But let's start off by getting the husband, right? I would assume you're the husband, right? I can screw with his lawnmower, but I can't learn anything about him. Alright, I don't need to learn anything about him, because he's just gonna get smushed. There you go. Oh! Oh! A goat! Yeah, there, there you go! Go call 911! Um, um, um... I couldn't do anything. Oh, I'll get you on the way back, don't you worry. Whoop. Triple kill. <laughs> I was gonna say, it was all cinematic, I couldn't activate anything. We only killed one, two people. I, I lost sight of what's important. Cell phones, Apple products. <laughs> so what would have happened if I woke up Max? Oh, he would have lost his mind and, and, and murdered somebody there. Who was there? That's the thing, this game just has so much replayability because there's a lot going on in this tiny little city. I'm trying to think of one thing that I have seen, but oh right, the, the dancing people. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of people dancing underneath bees. Ah, not the bees, not the bees. <laughs> so once they all group up again, uh, bees, that's, that's, the, that's the bees. That's deadly African bees. I'll take all those souls, thank you very much. I didn't know I needed to collect them. 
I probably didn't... No, I do need to kill those people. Okay, I wasn't sure. You never can be too sure if you're supposed to get bystanders or not, but I, I do need to get at least 32 to move on with the level, right? So, uh, who's next? You. What are you doing, little peeping Tom? Oh, look, he's looking for titties! Oh, yeah, you're gonna have to die. Oh, that's interesting. So I can actually get rid of all of these. Now, no matter what window he goes to, he would fall, because I'm pretty sure I can open the windows, right? Yeah, but I can't get any information about him. All I can do is open the windows, and some of them have titties. Okay, so why don't we wait for him to come over here, and maybe we'll startle him with the actual presence of titties. <laughs> and then he'll just fall and land on the sidewalk, I guess? Come on, dude, I'm gonna help you out here. This is what you wanted. Uh That is not the reaction I was expecting. So what am I supposed to do then? Because these are death traps, but clearly they're not very good at killing. Had to show him the alien. Why did he see the misses and then just keep going like, there's never enough titties, never too many titties. <laughs> okay, and the alien is gonna take off. Yeah, he doesn't want to be like some kind of associate to murder or something like that. Wait a minute. This is some kind of love hotel, and the alien landed on the roof and was hanging out with some very, uh, women of the evening, we'll say. I think that was an alien booty call. Can we call him back for more? Yeah, there was, it was that and then this, right? Yeah, there we go. Uh, I don't think he's coming back for booty. Uh, listen, guys, I'm really sorry. I just killed so many people by accident. Oh, uh, Grim has to be pleased, right? You gotta be proud of that. That whole sidewalk just got vacuumed up. Here we go. This is an easy one, right? We could just wait for a bunch more people to come by. Oh, that was like five, right? It's only gonna give me credit for four? What about the dude who fell off the scaffolding? He's gonna count. <laughs> they were whispering I love you to one another in public displays of affection and then Smooshed. They got smooshed together, at least. Mission complete. Working overtime will award more experience, but of course, you can go on to the next act any time. So technically, I could keep playing and try to kill everybody in this level, like these two little girls Don't trying to you. buy ice cream. <laughs> but I think I like the idea of moving on to the next level. Like, I really want to see what else this game has to offer. Plus, I think Grim is already getting kind of impatient. We can only leave his tie hanging for so long. Act two, love and peace. And it looks like we're going to some kind of military facility now. Ooh, okay, this is very different. Not all accidents are straightforward. Sometimes you gotta get creative. Like this guy, for example. Well, we have a pulsating knob over here. It just begging to get turned. A valve, a great shiny valve must turn. Uh, no one can touch the valve under my guard. Humans are surprisingly diligent at times. This trap is under constant guard. You'll have to take him out first. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so we need to get rid of the guard, and then we can turn the valve. So what if we uh, ring the telephone? Can someone get that? The ringing is so annoying. And then uh, this heavy wooden box, which is on top of the machinery for some reason, just happens to fall. Smoosh him. Well done, now turn the valve. Yeah, I'm, I'm on it. Okay, you don't need to hold my hand. Your hands are covered in glitter and gross. Okay, we're just gonna turn that. There we go. He just ate it in the face. I know he said the people were diligent around here, but they already got a band-aid on the burst. It literally just happened. You are unsettlingly good at this. Keep your hands where I can see them. Why? Want to hold them again? It's like I said, glitter, dude. I'm not interested. Get out of here. So Act 0 was a tutorial, Act 1 was a level, Act 2 was a tutorial, now Act 2 by the same name is a level? Yeah, I'm not really sure what's going on, but uh, sneaky spies must sneaky things. Yeah, what he said. I was gonna say, we Reaper assistants need to be a little off the cuff sometimes. We need to play it by ear. We need to sabotage. There must be a spy. Find him. Oh, okay. 
Everything sucks, but do carry on, my dear. What was that? I'm confused. Welcome to the Boom Boom Room. Oh, yeah, I thought we were in some kind of like, weapons facility. I guess technically that also looked like Boom Boom. At this rate, they'll never finish that missile. Methinks they need a gentle nudge. Also, that glorious leader is a creep. He displeases me. Kill all his workers, for I am a vengeful death. Wait a minute. Are, are we in North Korea? I think the locker room is a good place to start. It's my first day on the job. Maybe like dismantling North Korea is a little bit above my pay grade. <laughs> He's even got the hair. Okay, so we just need to take down North Korea's nuke facility. The darn fan's stuck. Yeah, definitely that that's North Korean if I've ever heard it. So I've got the whole weapons facility idea down, but I'm still not sure what's going on with this room. It's, uh, kinky, to say the least. Very strange. Can I do anything in here? Can I click on the butt? Can't click on the butt. How about you? Female secretary, the leader's love interest. Oh, very close with the other secretary. So there are two secretaries. I don't see any other secretaries. Are you a secretary? Male secretary. The secretary never touches the secret door. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The secret door when the glorious leader is around. So you must be the glorious leader. Oh, glorious leader. Sure, loves that statue of his a bit too much. So there's... Oh, secret door. Interesting. The glorious leader never... Wait, can you say that again? Oh, crap. Wait for me, my dear. What the... Okay. It's like his little afternoon delight room. <laughs> She's wearing like a little 8-bit G-string and then takes a shower after they're done. Oh my god, this game is amazing. I love it. The glorious leader never leaves his office unless something happens to his statue. And what is he doing right now? Oh, he's peeking on the female change room. <laughs> glorious leader outlaws privacy. Okay, I think I get it now. So the male secretary is always thinking about the female secretary because they're very close, but he never touches that door unless the glorious leader isn't around and he's only never around when something happens to his statue, as the guards are saying. So we need to do something to his statue. Is that a statue? That's really more of a front sign. You should have... Oh, here we go. Okay, there's a statue over here. So if we could do something to... His glorious statue, the glorious leader's favorite statue, guarded 24-7. So, how about you, guard? Can we maybe smush you? First Calm down, I'm just a worker. Whoa, 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 hold on, hold- That dude just made a run with a nuke, where's he going? Where are you going with the nuke, dude? Should you really be putting that in a locker room? That- that can't be a good idea. I don't think- I don't think you work here. Excuse me, excuse me. I can't get any information from you. A live bomb, no touchy. You're not my boss. <laughs> okay, I'm not getting any of the main objective people. Oh, she is one of the main objective people. So I need to get her killed. I'm seeing how this all falls into place now. Oh, that's why there's the whole love triangle. Okay, hold on. So I need to do something to dipshit statue, and that way it should... Paint bucket, a light and insignificant bucket. Unless something happened. Oh, glorious leader, your statue has been vandalized. So he's just gonna run over and take a look at that. Oh, who vandalized my statue? I don't know. Glorious leader has finally left the room, but I can't, oh, glorious leader has finally left the room, but I can't open the door. That's what he's saying. Okay, so I'll open the door for you. My dear, there's so much I want to tell you but I mostly just want to bang, right? Are you guys just gonna bang? If you're gonna bang, you better bang quick because he's back. <laughs> okay, so now they're trapped in there and if I open the door, oh no, we'll be killed if the glorious leader finds us. That's exactly what I want, <laughs> right? What do you got to say about that glorious leader? Kill them. Ah, uh, it's just that easy. Whoa. Double kill. 
I thought that they would like take them away or something like that. Every rose has its thorn. Man, this game is kind of dark. <laughs> I love it. Okay, well, there goes uh, the secretaries. Um, we also have the spy and whoever you are. You're just some random, right? That's not gonna be overly difficult. I just need to smush you. That was so much easier compared to the last one. <laughs> Anything's better than working here. Like, I literally had to drop a box on him in comparison to having them bang and get caught and, and paint and crazy. Okay, now the spy. How am I gonna get you caught? What's your story? Male spy, a senior spy that's sabotaging the factory. Do I really want to get him caught? Hmm. Maybe if he does something spy-like, I can use the phone to bring over somebody? If I use the phone right now. Okay. So he will go answer it. Can I sabotage the phone at all? Doesn't look like it. Oh! Oh, this coil is leaking acid everywhere. Yeah, acid coils. That'll do it. That'll do it, all right. I guess technically I really have no sides. You know, death takes everybody equally. Someone else must finish my work. Yeah, well, I won't be doing any sabotaging, but I'll definitely be ruining the place. I kind of want to see what happens if I open the blinds while he's peeking. Oh, oh, they're making a run for it. They're making a run for it. Okay, where are you going, ladies? Oh, you're going out here. And kaboom. <laughs> Thank you for the souls. Oh man, this game is so charming. I think I saw a bunch of bombs, right? There were, there's a, oh, they're loading stuff into the big bomb. Yeah, that's the important one, right? Can I just set that off? That'd make my life a whole lot easier. Valve guarded by a tired worker. Where? Oh, death traps with green auras require a bit more coaxing. See if you can figure it out. Okay, I'm on it. Thanks, boss. I don't see any tired workers though. Is it just this person in red? Um. Ooh, okay. So if we get a few, there we go. Kill. That works. And then we might be able to get you over here, please. Thank you, ma'am. Daily fake news. What? Angel sightings reported. What is happening? The police are here? Why are there police angels? Uh, it's the angels. Who invited them? Be on guard. You will have to retreat if you're spotted three times, so watch yourself. Wait, what? I thought this game was just screwing around. I didn't think it was actually gonna be a challenge. So I can't let the angels see me when I do terrible things? Oh, I can actually open that up, okay. Interesting, so we need to be careful of the angels. Good to know. So I think right now, there's no guard. I should be able to pull this valve. I think it's gonna burst this. So how about you guys all go over there? Come on, everybody. There you go. That didn't do anything. Huh. Oh, this is flammable. So we want to get the sparks on it. I see. So we're just gonna time it. There we go. That's the stuff. Dude, I still need to get 21 more people and these angels are all over the place. Maybe I can go outside? Like, what's going on over here? What if I let the dog out? Who let the dog out? Who? Who? Who knows? But now your soul is mine. That's what they were singing about this entire time. Again, these angels have no idea. Oh, there's another spy. That's a spy right there. Female spy, a lady spy in charge of sabotaging both production lines. If the other spy dies, she will take over his work. Oh, so that's of interest to us. He said that somebody must carry on and now she's moving back and forth. So I probably couldn't get her over here, but I might be able to get her over here somehow. Blasted old Soviet technology. Hey, 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 whoa, whoa, what? Oh, I can't even have stuff selected? Oh, you are just the worst angels. Angels, can you please just get off my nuts? What about these guys? Radiation workers, serious worker that never stays in the radiation room for more than 10 seconds. Okay. So can we keep you in there for more than 10 seconds? Do you have it propped up with a broom? Oh, it only stays locked from the out. Okay, that's a bad idea. So, you guys just got nuked. <laughs> Easy enough, we only need three more. I am just gonna lose my mind if I can't figure out how to get to that spy. Wait a minute. 
Are you kidding me? I can get the spy from above? Got her. The depth perception is a little weird sometimes, so you can't really tell where things would go, but yeah, we got her. Okay, so we only need one more, and it's gonna be that guy. Got him. We good? That's a bronze. Where, where, there he is. Uh, your tie is looking lovely. Is that it? Do, do you want me to, to get uh, the glorious leader? There's so many angels, though. I don't think there is any way that I can get this dude out of his office, and I can't set off the nuke or even kill most other people, as far as I can tell. I think that I would probably need to play through the level again, except be more efficient to get a higher score, right? It's like I said, there's a lot of replayability, because I've already found most of the traps. They're just not all that useful to me, because I've either wasted them or I guess missed some people. I have no idea. You know what? I think that's going to be it for this episode of Death Coming, guys. Really cool little game. Very charming. Completely took me by surprise with some of the humor in it, which is great. So if you guys want to check it out, like I said, there's a link in the description. It's on sale right now. A big thanks to Zodiac Interactive for sponsoring the video. And if you want to win a free copy for yourself, I'm going to be giving away two Steam keys to people in the comments. So leave a comment and you'll be entered. And I'm also going to give away one to somebody who retweets it on Twitter. So be sure to follow me on Twitter. And, uh, other than that, so, you know, if people want to see more of this game, be sure to let me know, because I wouldn't actually mind playing it again, even if I don't get paid for it, because it's a fun game. Thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Yeah.